Welcome to the Sisterhood of Saints Daily Lenten Reflections. My name is Melanie Rigney, and I'm the author of Sisterhood of Saints Daily Guidance and Inspiration. Each day during Lent, I'll share something about a female saint and a challenge item based on her life, her writings, or a bit of scripture. St. Catherine of Bologna was born in Italy on September 8, 1413, and died on March 9, 1463. We observed her feast day last week. Due to her father's connections, Catherine spent time as a youngster as an attendant to the daughter of a marquis. As a result, she learned a great deal about literature and the fine arts, studying music, painting and dancing, and writing poetry and literary works. However, when she was just 14, she chose to leave the court and to join a religious community. Eventually, she became a poor clare, which is when she began receiving visions of the Blessed Virgin and Christ, including a horrifying one of the Last Judgment. Shortly before her death, Catherine gave her confessor a copy of her manuscript we know as the Treatise on the Seven Spiritual Weapons Necessary for Spiritual Warfare. Catherine said in the treatise, to combat evil it is necessary, one, to be careful always to do good, two, to believe that we can never achieve anything truly good by ourselves, three, to trust in God and, for his love, never fear the battle against evil either in the world or in ourselves. Four, to medicate, meditate frequently on the events and words of Jesus' life, especially his passion and death. Five, to remember that we must die. Six, to keep the benefits of heaven firmly in our minds. And seven, to be familiar with the Holy Scripture, keeping it in our hearts to guide all our thoughts and actions. It's interesting, isn't it, the way God can use any of our life experiences to help us do his will. St. Catherine's exposure to the arts as a child surely must have influenced her path as a writer late in life. How is God calling on you today to use a skill or knowledge you acquired years ago? Thanks for joining me today. These entries also appear each day at my blog, which can be found at www.sisterhoodofsaintsbook.com. Thanks, and God bless. To be a mother, to nurture family. Yeah. You are called to be a brother, be strength in times of need. You are called to be a neighbor, see a friend in all you meet. You are called to be a leader, to build community. You are called to be a prayer, living out the truth you see. Come to be everything You are come